What's going on YouTube? This is Gabe, and if you're subscribed to my channel, you're probably wondering why I'm even making this video. I mean, what's the point? Why don't I just buy an iPhone instead, right? Well, what if I told you that you can essentially run iOS on your Android device? That, my friend, is the beauty of Android. So without any further ado, this is how I put iOS on my Android device, with a little twist. As you probably read in the title, I achieved this using KLWP. Now, if you're not familiar, KLWP stands for Custom Live Wallpaper and it's an app that basically gives you unlimited home screen customization. If you've used this app though, you know it's a pretty complicated app that comes with a steep learning curve. Needless to say, this project took a long time to complete, so if you like what you see, please feel free to share this video. Also, if you want this set up on your phone, make sure you stick around for the end of the video. Starting off with the home screen, I created a single page of apps using KLWP and set each icon to launch its respective Android app. I chose this set of apps in particular for consistency, as this is what you see when you unbox any iPhone. To access all my other apps, I used an Nova Launcher gesture. Up on top, I created a status bar that is identical to the iPhones, not just in looks, but also in functionality. Just like on an iPhone, the battery icon will turn green when the phone is charging, and you'll also get that lightning icon. Moving on over to the signal strength, I replicated the bar found on the iPhone and made it so that it accurately displays your signal strength. At the time of editing this video, I now realize that the bars look different in iOS 11, but this could easily be replicated within the KLWP application. The main reason why this video is titled iOS 11 is because of an app called Control Center iOS 11. This app actually works very nicely, and I haven't had any problems with it. It gives you the iOS 11 Control Center, and there's not much else to say about it. It just works. Now if you prefer the control center from iOS 10, don't worry, I replicated that as well. Since KLWP doesn't support gestures, I set the control center to activate whenever you tap the lower portion of the display. The toggles aren't fully functional due to the limitations of the app, but I was able to get the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles to work. Also, the brightness bar functions as a battery bar. If you want the four toggles at the bottom to work on your device, you may have to set them yourself within KLWP. On the second page, I included the music widget found in iOS 10. This works as you would expect it to. Just like on the iPhone, I added the widgets page on the far left and included a calendar widget, an app suggestion widget, and a weather widget. This page also includes the date and a fully functional search bar at the top. One thing I wanted to mention is that the calendar widget is just there for looks and it doesn't actually function, for the sake of simplicity. If you really want it to display your events, that can easily be changed in the KLWP app. So now it's time to get this on your device. Just a quick disclaimer, not all the features may work properly on every phone, so it will be up to the user to fix any issues. That said, if you want this set up on your device, all you need to do is download the wallpaper in the description and use it with KLWP. For the wallpaper to function properly, you're going to want to use Nova Launcher. Make sure you have the status bar hidden, the dock turned off, and the number of pages set to 3. That's all there is to it. So that's how I put iOS on my Android device. I've been working on this for a while, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it and drop a like. It really helps me out a lot. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.